Hi everybody, happy Tech Tip Tuesday. Melissa O'Connell here, your Lexus technology specialist. And I have a tip for you today. If you have an iPhone and you've done the iOS 13 update and you're having Bluetooth connection issues, I'm going to show you how to get a fresh pairing for your phone in your Lexus vehicle. We're going to remove the phone from the car and the car from the phone, and it's very easy. So let's check it out. We're gonna start on the iPhone itself. We're going to settings, Bluetooth, and then where you see the connection for the car, whether it says connected or not connected, you're going to click on the information menu, the lowercase i, and then click forget this device. Right at the bottom, confirm by clicking forget device again, and then it's gone. So now we wanna do the similar steps on the car. So we're in a 2019 RX with navigation. It might look a little bit different from your vehicle, but that's okay. Follow along, and if you have questions, just let me know. We'll push menu, and then we'll click on setup. Going to Bluetooth again, and you'll see my device listed. So what we want to do is we want to remove. If you have multiple listings for your phone, you're going to wanna to eliminate all of them. If you have an older phone listed, make sure to remove that as well. Once you click remove, then you'll select the device that you're going to clear from the vehicle and click yes to confirm. Then we will be able to add a new device. Now I know this is the same phone, so you might be thinking, but it's not new. Why do I have to do this? We are refreshing the Bluetooth connection because Apple has made a lot of changes. So we'll click add, and then from the registration page, you'll go back to your iPhone and you'll see Lexus RX or the name of your car's device. Click right on those words, click pair, and allow so that your contacts will transfer. Sometimes when your contacts are transferring, you might see it say not connected and that's okay. It can pause the connection temporarily while your iPhone is sending your contacts to your vehicle, but after it's complete, it should say connected again. Now, if you do texting in the vehicle, don't forget, you want to come into information, click show notifications so that your texts are turned back on and you'll get those notification prompts in your vehicle. You can just go back, Bluetooth and settings. Also keep in mind that you should now see your connection on your vehicle. So we do have Bluetooth, we have two bars of service and a little over halfway on our battery. One of the changes that has happened with Bluetooth and iPhone is all of your volume settings are independent of one another. So it's a great idea if you have the opportunity to turn your car off and back on and then make a phone call. Once you're in that phone call, adjust your volume on the side of your iPhone. Then you can adjust it on the vehicle. And you'll notice this will be true whether it's a phone call, Bluetooth audio, even different apps now have their own volume setting. So if you're listening to something via Bluetooth connection and the volume is too low, turn your volume all the way up on the side of your iPhone and then adjust it on your Lexus. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll keep you posted if any other changes come along. If you're an Android user and you do an update on your phone or you have automatic updates installed, if you have any trouble, follow the same steps through your connections in your settings app on your Android phone. Thanks again for tuning in and happy Tech Tip Tuesday.